Hi, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday Talk with my friend Jason Lynch here and myself, Jared Fulling. Tonight, we're going to talk to you about flow. This is a come up. You've already mentioned core clue. What exactly is flow? And somebody actually admitted that they've been hanging out for 40 plus years and didn't know what the heck we were talking about. So, Jason and myself. Can I talk to you a little bit about what we mean by what? And I know it feels a little bit odd. We're reversing position tonight from where we usually are. And that's because we really wanted the message to sink in. Sometimes we just got to flow with it, right? Wait a minute. Good info? Good. I think it's good. Um, so, yeah, flow. Flow does what? Flow is a movement, because if it's not a movement, it's stagnation. Yeah. Think of it like water. You know, you take an action and you make a ripple effect, right? So it's all about making the right ripple effects. We don't want to be super destructive. We're not trying to drop an A-bomb into a pond and seeing what will happen. It's more like tossing pebbles sometimes. You can, you know, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see what they're saying. Can they hear us? Your mic's fuzzy. Your mic's fuzzy. Well, let's move the mic up, so. How's that? Is that better? Hope that's better, Rar. All right, so back to the analogy. Basically, what flow is, is just, I, I consider flow to be creative because for me, flow is the act of getting lost in the moment of creation. And that is vitally important to who I am as a two spirit and who I am as a healer and person because I'm a very creative person. And when I feel like I don't have an idea or I don't know where I need to go out with it, I just get very bored and that causes frustration. And then I just get a sit and spin kind of energy. And I don't really like to live my life in that place. I feel like it's walking around dead. So I like to do things outside the box, even if I have to break it down to something as simple as coloring in somebody else's coloring book page or having a conversation with somebody because talking can be a flow, reading can be a flow, research can be a flow, dancing is a flow, writing is a flow. They're all activities that get your mind, your body, and your spirit moving, basically. My opinion. Well, to a degree, yeah. But I actually like to think of flow personally for, for myself as I like to plug in my music, okay? Mm -hmm. But I only like to plug in certain types of music to flow through because when I want to flow, when I want to craft, when I want art, I want I want to listen to music that energizes me, you know, music that pumps me up. Mm -hmm. um, and I can get into that music when I'm, when I'm crafting and, and you'll see me, you know, I'll be crafting and right. headbanging of, of all things. Mm -hmm. But that's just who I am. Um, but yeah, music that gets me up off my feet, music that gets me going, music that gets me moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are like, well, I turn on the music and I listen to the music. But are you listening to a flow that actually flows? Because for me, listening to hours and hours and hours of Adele and Sam Smith and Kelly Clarkson, while they are wonderful vocal artists, it is sometimes extremely depressing. Are you wanting a sob fest? Right. Do you need to cry? If you need to sit and cry for hours, which you hopefully don't, but if you do, that's a good mix for you. Well, if you don't want to, right. If you want to move through it, sometimes you got to listen to metal. Sometimes you got to listen to folk music. You have to sometimes honor the part of you that just needs to get that energy sometimes going. Sometimes you got to listen to your parents' music, believe it or not. Yeah. I like to listen to protest music from before my parents were born, just so I have something fresh <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> All that aside, flow is an act of movement. Um, and if you're not moving, are you really flowing? We do things on the fly. We do things on the run. We do things... Fan is making noise. Is that better?
<laughs> we'll keep going, but thank you for letting us know about that. We need to check the fans before because we're on multi platforms. We want people to hear us. Right. But as I was saying, flow is an active movement, and if we lose the movement, we lose the flow. Mm -hmm. We lose the intent behind the the, the word flow. Mm -hmm. And if you look around you, if you look out there in the world today, there's all kinds of things like flow arts, and flow spaces, flow theaters. Chance to find them. I'm not crazy. I really. Well, I might be, but creatively really, sane, really. But they really are out there, and these places are fun because they teach you to to be creative in the movement. They teach you to create while you move. And some of them teach you things like hula hoops. Some of them teach you things like belly dance. Fire stand. Yeah, fire stand. Uh, but check out a fire studio if you really need to get an invigorated, invigorating idea of what flow can be. Um, tune into Sings with Owls Friday Flow. The music is designed to get you on your feet, help you move around, help you find a direction. Um, Jay-Z also likes to put up some wonderful flow art music on Freya's day. Uh, but it's usually leans more towards the fun side of flow. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just different styles of flow for different styles of flow. Well, I do a lot of different kinds of flow on Friday. I sometimes will share a music video that I like because I think the video is cool, or sometimes I'll share one of Sings' playlists that's designed to get you dancing, or sometimes I'll share a written post, or I'll tell people, hey, go pull your runes or your cards, or go take a walk in nature, because all of those things to me are flows. They involve movement, spiritual connection, mindfulness, and intention. And to me, that is the, the basis of building yourself a flow, and if you don't have any concept of what that's like in your life, then... Doing something like that is something that does build momentum on a spiritual path in my experience. Meditating, practicing mindfulness, practicing forgiveness, and just moving forward. You know, even if you have to listen to Three Little Birds by Bob Marley and the Whalers on repeat, it it helps. A whole other level to the word flow, a spiritual mm. flow. Right. So we're spiritual beings having a human experience. Right. And the spiritual flow is almost as important if not more so than the playtime flow or the studious flow or the preservative flow. There's a lot of different flows out there for you. There are a lot of different things for you to experience. And like I said, check out a flow studio near you. You'll find a flow that fits you, a flow that helps you be the most creative, most joyous, wonderful self you can be. Where do we go from there? Oh, you have a spot for us. Have a spot for us? Yeah. Witchy Wednesdays. Sure. So tune in tomorrow for Witchy Wednesdays with myself, JC Moon Spirit, and my best two things with us. We will be doing some intuitive consulting with the witchy room tiles that Spirit has made for us from Spirit Walk Star Creations. So They're wonderful intuitive tools. I think you will absolutely love it. And we do a lot of research, so tune in and see what we came up with this week for our gods and goddesses. Peace and blessings, everybody. Thank you. And peace and blessings. Let's have a good